How not to be a football millionaire by the one and only Keith Gillespie. I'm delighted to say we're joined again here on McLean's TV by the man himself, a man with the, so many non-international caps, a former Newcastle, Manchester United star. Uh, the book, very special, Keith. No holes barred. You go through all the issues and all the problems you've had over the years. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I set out to do when, uh, when I sat down to, you know, to, to come up with the book. I wanted everything out there. Um, I've had so much sort of press over the years, a lot of it bad, and I just wanted to address all those sort of problems that I've had, you know, gambling being one of them. And, you know, it's it's something that I got involved in at a very young age. Um, you know, it's I had that sort of problem for quite a few years, but, you know, I, I just addressed the problem. I wanted people to know my side of the story as regards it, rather than just what they read you know, in the tabloids throughout the years. So it's something that uh, I'm very pleased with. Uh, I suppose it's a difficulty of the fact you and I are friends go back a long, long way, and yet uh, we received criticism for the last time you appeared on McLean's TV, appearing for a bookmaker. You know, people are saying, how on earth would you ever invite Keith Gillespie to do that? But you wanted to do that because you wanted to tell people your, you want to tell people your story that gambling, like everything else, is okay if it's done responsibly. Well, of course, um, you know, earning the sort of thousands that I was earning, you know, I was you know, very irresponsible, uh, but, you know, that sort of goes with, with the charity of earning a lot of money, but, you, you know, gambling is okay for, you know, as long as you keep it under control. I know there's plenty of people that, that, you know, can do that. There's plenty of people that can't, but, you know, when when we sort of received the complaints last year regarding this, you know, I thought it was laughable. Um, you know, it's something that, that I, has been a big part of my life, gambling, and, and it, it's something that I wanted to get across in the book as well about, you know, how it can get a hold of you and, and you know, what it does to you. But, you know, as, as I say, I did think it was laughable, the comments. Knowing you, see, knowing you, it doesn't surprise me because uh, you always face the issue. You always uh, headed it off the past and was very, very straight on. And yet the, the gambling issue was a serious problem for you. You know, we're talking about, we're not talking about losing a, a few pounds. We're talking about thousands here. Yeah, well, even millions. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, as I said, I did get involved in it at a young age. And, you know, I think only people who actually do gamble will understand how it can get a hold of you. Um, you know, I had sort of a lot of spare time being a, a professional footballer. And, you know, rather than I probably should have taken up a, a bit of a hobby back then, a bit more golf or whatever. But for me, my spare time was, was gambling uh, pretty much on anything. You know, so it was, it was difficult times. You know, but I've got through all that there, and you know, I've addressed it. And you know, as I say, I'm very pleased with the sort of response I've had. You know, regarding how I've I've been so honest about it in the book. You know, regarding the whole the whole gambling issue. Big seller too, selling well. Very very good read. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think it's a very easy read. Um, you know, it's, there's a, there's a lot of. But it needs it. to be for people like Liam Beckett are able to read. Well, exactly. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. he's more used to colouring books or something. But, um, <laughs> but um, you he's know, on he, after you realise. Oh, it. right. So <laughs> he, um, you know, he, he says it's the first book he's ever read. You know, so that's maybe a good thing. But um, you know, it is. It it's sold well. I mean, it's been very well received. The reviews have been great. So I can be more uh, more pleased than than how it's gone. Interesting to you talk about golf. I played golf with you a few occasions, you know. As Becky would say, we'd start off on the first tee and then that's see each other for 18 holes. You can play a mean game of golf too. I'm not too bad. Um, that's that's when I'm not looking for your balls. But, um, <laughs> you know, we, we've, we've had some crack in the golf course and, uh, you know, it's it's a, it's a game I love playing. I, I love playing as much as I can. So something, as I say, I probably should have taken up many years ago would have kept me out of the bookies.